Hello and welcome back to Xenonauts. It's episode two. And would you believe they put a man on the moon? No. <laughs> there is a funding report, but you can only see the button on the screen where you can't pause time, which is quite annoying. But anyway, I'm sure the fact that you can't pause time has been done to death in the Xenonauts 2 forums, so... In this report, it says, Alien victory if two regions are lost, which is kind of, uh... It's a bit of a weird... It's a weird loss condition, in my opinion, because it's like... If you... This is gonna sound really harsh, right? This game is set in the 1970s. Or around then. Not sure what the exact date is. Uh, if you lose, like, Latin America and Africa, for example, how is that, other than the funding that they provide, how is that going to impact your war against the aliens? Let, let's be honest here, right? The war is lost if you lose, let's say, for, for charity's sake, the three military superpowers of the time. <clears throat> so... The US, which would be the North American region, rich and with <clears throat> a lot of advanced weapons development. Europe, same as the US, rich rich nations, advanced weapons development. Um, I think the UK is largely ahead on missile technology in this time period. Um, the UK is like strongly focused on missiles for a long time actually. And hit well up, hits well above its weight for its uh, for its size. Um, just trying to think of what other technology that's going around at this time that would be particularly useful against a hostile invasion. Uh, the French fighter plane development, I think. Uh, Germany industrial capacity, of course, always good. I mean, Germany has been demilitarized at this point. <clears throat> but that industrial capacity has been rebuilt and is is uh, all new by the 1970s. So, and then of course the Soviet Union. Now there's a question here as to how realistic it is that they, you know, are truly like a useful power in the fight against the aliens. Because as we know from what what is to come, um, it was you know, thoroughly corrupt uh, structure, so, but let's just, for charity's sake, let's just say that they're going to contribute as well, uh, or that maybe, maybe the alien invasion uh, creates a more united union. So these three, these three are the important ones, let's be honest here, <clears throat> and these three, uh, Asia... I mean, I don't think China is like a manufacturing superpower in the 1970s. I must admit, this is not a period of time where I know much about what's going on in Asia. Um, but I can, I can see it. But nevertheless, to me, the fight, the fight is not over until you lose these three. So I don't get why the aliens win if you if you lose any two regions. Which, you know, includes Africa and Latin America. Anyway, <clears throat> we've got an expenses report here. As well, which is what I wanted to see earlier. Um, so, uh, I'm probably adding like another 200,000 worth of expenses and then 100,000 uh, more when I add another plane. I feel like the loss condition should be, you know, when your money runs out, surely. You would think that the organization would fight on until the money runs out. Okay, so five hours the first research is done.
So we can protect two regions from this base. And potentially two more from a base positioned here. I think America and, and uh, North America and South America are going to... Uh, or the North Americas and the South Americas is probably the best way to say this. Is going to be the hardest to efficiently put a protection over. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little bit of like a cold or something developing. Commander, it seems like the covert stage of the invasion is coming to an abrupt end. I'm officially handing control of, the, of our organization over to you. Right now we need someone with military experience in charge. As the cleaners have clearly taken an interest in us, I'm going to start digging into them. We still don't know who they are. Just that they appear like clockwork after alien activity and erase any evidence, including any unfortunate eyewitnesses. I will let you know if I discover anything interesting. Of course, our primary goal is to learn enough about the extraterrestrials to figure out how to defeat the invasion. We've now finally developed the technology to reliably track alien activity. Your soldiers and pilots can start conducting missions against them. I'm sure our chief scientist will be delighted to look at any extraterrestrial corpses or alien equipment you can bring back to base. If we're lucky, you might even be able to reverse engineer some of it for our own use. Incidentally, please resist the temptation to strangle the man with his own lab coat. We need him for the war effort. He's quite literally a genius, and we couldn't replace him even if we tried. Trust me on this. Your final task will be to increase our funding and expand our organization so we can protect the entire planet, as regions are bound to fall under alien control if we leave them undefended for too long. But I will let you work out the details here. Let's get started. There's coffee in the pot. <clears throat> Your organization is now working towards locating the headquarters from which the cleaners control their global operations. This investigation will progress more quickly if certain cleaner related tactical missions are completed or if cleaner units are captured alive for interrogation. Okay, there is nothing to research at this time. Tactical mission. <clears throat> Must temporarily clear our enemies out of Atlas Base so we can recover the scientific data and supplies we need to continue the war against the aliens. We did the uh, we did the tactical setup last time, so off we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> literally no choice but to do this mission anyway so only a handful of enemy agents are now guarding it this is a critically important mission we left a lot of important things behind when we evacuated Atlas including years of research data. You need to clear the facility of hostiles so we can recover what we need. The 
main cleaner force has already returned home, so it won't be too hard. If you run into the general, well, this isn't time for sentimentality. He's not on our side anymore. Can I rotate this? Okay, I can. Excellent. 99% chance to hit here, 0% chance to hit here. Too many time units to fire that. Snapshot, normal shot, aim shot, three round burst. Team for a snapshot. Get in there. Should have brought a shotgun, huh? There we go. Bringing a sniper to a base mission was not a great idea. Ah! 
That's a lot of guys. Well, that heavy armor is working out, that's for sure. Okay. Where's old Captain Boop? Here he is. Sixty-four percent chance it goes where I want. Twenty-five percent chance it hits that guy in the face. This guy is he bleeding? Again, three round burst, I can shoot through this guy. shooting in the world, is it? Okay, that did nothing. Yeah, that's fine.
Okay. Got one rifleman left. Okay, I might just keep him busy. All right. You're behind, behind no bed no more. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Am I just missing, I guess? It's still, it's very weird.
it's going to be a bit difficult. Tuck behind the shield guy. Okay, he didn't have a good shot either, so he just moved. Going at an angle just to shuffle. happened there. He just... The grenade just blew up within the arming distance of the... So these grenade launchers, right, the projectile doesn't arm until it's so far away from the actual launcher. So that grenade actually blew up impossibly close. guy's in serious danger of dying now. I'm going to sweep this base as a team. Now that I know that certain areas of it are clear. Alright, can only hope that I survive this. That guy took stun damage, so he might be... <clears throat> I was going to say, he might not have many APs to play with. Time units, as they're called in this game. Okay, I don't have enough time units to close the distance. What are you doing, Carl? Yeah, so, you know, they, um... I say they, I mean, like, you know, military weapon designers. They thought about the possibility that a uh, grenade might bounce back. So they, uh, they uh, put a, um, a fuse in the, in the grenade, where it will not, it will not go off unless it, unless the grenade has traveled a certain distance. Don't ask me how it works, because I have no idea. It might work on speed, or like a timer or something. Where, uh, yeah, it's probably it probably works on a timer. It's probably like if the impact is before a certain number of seconds, then it won't detonate. 
Anyway, 40mm grenades have got safeties in them that stop them from blowing up at, uh, at point blank and harming the operator. So that should just never have happened. Yeah, I know that. Hi. I'm going to, at some risk to myself, try and capture this guy. Since I can't turn off reaction fire, I'm going to move my guys. guy's been suppressed and stunned, so I'm sure he's not got many action points left to play with. Sixty-one percent chance to hit. You're killing me, Smalls. Suppress the guy. It's fine. I think this is the last guy. <sighs> Got him. clear except this one. Without his shield, this guy is a liability, so we'll just uh, keep him out.
All right, let's get ready for breach. We'll do this properly. So by do it properly, I mean create a breach team. Actually, you know, load it outside the door. So as soon as the door opens, we're going in. surprise. This is the last room. I recognize you. All of you. Why don't I remember anything about you? It doesn't matter. I will not allow you to interfere. That was pretty messy. Th that guy in the corner is my main fear about this kind of game, is what do you do about a guy sort of stuck in the corner like that, pointed at the door? You can't twist a grenade around the corner to get them. Ha, huh, wounded. I don't remember wounded being a thing in Xenonauts. I remember it just being that you had to wait for their hit points to recover in the med bay. Aliens killed 12 of 14, huh? Oh yeah, because I captured two. Well, I guess I have to wait for Skyhawk 1 to return to base. Okay, I'm going to say that's it for now, because we are out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.